What is going on, Pokemon community slash CG community? Today we got a PSA returns. Um, we sent in 24 cards of mix of like um, some Pokemon, Weiss, and Dragon Ball. Um, 24 cards in total in today's return. Um, we're gonna see what we got here. It's a bunch of modern cards, some vintage, um, just some pickups that are like probably gonna be like super low grade, but I just wanted to have some of them graded to see what the output's gonna be like. All right. So let's see what we get here in today's video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell and smashing that like button does go a long way for Poke Collector NYC. Now, I don't actually know the way that these are gonna go. Okay, so it's this way. It's gonna be like this. So let's take these out. Shout out to Pop and Pulse for being a Patreon member. Patreon members get exclusive cards from our videos. So if you are interested in being a Patreon member, Please sign up today. Uh, Pod and Pulse prefers Pokemon, so we send him Pokemon. All right, we got uh, most of the slabs look like they're here. So let's go ahead and start seeing what they look like. And all right, we're starting off with the um, Charizard, Chinese Charizard uh, from the Paladin Fates 10. I only submitted one of pretty much most of everything. This looked clean. It was like maybe a little off centered, but you know, uh, even in a 10, it's still like a 50, $55 card. So not too bad here. Um, so let's see, I think this is gonna be a 10 or a nine. Pro most of the stuff, I think all the modern stuff should be a nine or a 10, so. Gem Mint 10, there we go. All right, so we got a 10 to start off in our 10 pile, which is pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and put that there. All right, let's see here, let's see. Bubble Mew, uh, love this card. Um, it does look so good in a slab, though. Looks gorgeous. Love that. Uh, I mean, maybe it's a little off-centered, but that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna say this is a nine. Oh, and I was right. Okay, I wish these were, this was like a 10. Um, you know, it was a little off-centered. It was a gamble. Uh, a 10 goes for a lot more, but like... I, it was my only one I pulled. I remember pulling this on the channel. So you might see some Paldean Fates um, in here. Oh, there you go. Some Paldean Fates, and then there's a special illustration right, right here. Um, I thought this is the cleanest of all the, well, I already ruined it, but like, yeah, I thought this was the cleanest of the of the bunch here. So very cool. Uh, this is PC. This is, this is not going anywhere. This is definitely PC. Love to see that right there. Uh, shiny Charizard illustration wear. Shiny Charmander. All right, clearly there's a theme for the Pal I guess they put all the Paldean Fates in the same section. So I don't have the Charmeleon, but maybe I'll just get that so I can have the full evolution line because that would be dope. Shiny Charmander. Can we get something good here? And gem in 10 on the Shiny Charmander. That's pretty good. Um, all right, let's go a little bit faster. Okay. They put all the Paldean Fates in a nice little line there. We did pull the three or three of the top four, I think. Um, special illustration rare, Gardevoir, EX. This should be a 10 now. That is pretty. Oh, no, there's a little ding on top now. I don't know how that happened. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm still gonna say 10. Okay, a nine. Uh, okay, that really decreases the value. So, I mean, I think this is, most nines will be like raw value at this point, so. That's fine. Um, I guess that's okay. Uh, not all are gonna be wins. Shadazard, it's Shadazard from 151. Uh, shout out to my boy, Kirby. Uh, Kirby, uh, he gave us some packs for holidays and I pulled this right out of that. Super clean card. I'm hoping for the 10, but I do see a slight ding on the bottom and a slight ding on top. I might use this as an upgrade to get a 10, but if this is like a nine. Yeah, there's some dings. All right, let's see. Yeah, I kind of figured I was gonna be a nine. I don't know why I got dings. I thought it looked clean, but then sometimes when you look at them in a slab, they just look different. Um, all right, on dodge it. Okay, so this one I bought at a card shop. Um, there's definitely some damage on the bottom there. So you can see all corners have something. And this one I'm trying to... So all the corners, I knew something was gonna be wrong in the corners. Um, also like the hollow foil, I could have sworn I saw something on there before I submitted it. I just like this Scizor artwork. 
So I thought it was pretty dope. Um, yeah. I remember buying this at a card shop. All right, let's see what we get here. It does have a few things. Okay, well, actually, that's worse than I expected. That's a seven. I don't know what makes it a seven versus the eight. I mean, yeah, that's like, that's a rougher corner, but like. All right, um, I'll have to look at that one. I don't know why that one's like that. All right. Blood Moon or Solana from Twilight Masquerade. So this is like that fresher pull when I submitted this. Now that I look at it, it does look a little off-centered on here, but I mean, otherwise I thought it was a pretty clean card. I mean, again, there's like a slight ding there, but like, I don't think that's really gonna be an issue, is it? All right, let's see. I'm hoping for 10, Twilight, Masquerade, Blood Rune, or Solana. This is a dope card. And I got the nine. Wow, we are not doing well on the 10 section. We're getting more nines than tens, which is unfortunate. So you could tell here that this is definitely a rougher card. They even got a little bend on it. I bet you this is, I think I know what this is. Uh, oh no, I lied. This was the, uh, I bought this for $9. Lugia from Secret Wonders. Obviously you could tell it is real buffed up, but this is a PC because I want to collect every Lugia in a PSA slab and I cannot afford to get a clean copy of this. So I, I'm actually thinking this is gonna be like a three or like a two, let me see. Oh, I got a four. Okay, that's an upgrade for more than I expected. Again, paying $9. I mean, this is probably not even more than $25 card. So realistically, like you broke even with this. That's actually not bad. All right. All right, this is what I was talking about. This one was definitely rough. This is a Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu. I just bought this again for probably $10. I don't know why it had that. That was like definitely something was wrong with it. This one I'm expecting like a two or a one and a three. So still better, but again, I was not expecting much out of that. That was just, you know, me getting something different. All right. All right, Umbreon from the three pack blisters. I just love the pattern on this. I thought that was like super cool. Uh, a 10 in this goes for like a hundred bucks, I think. So I had this from back in the day when I had some Evolving Sky three pack blisters. Um, blister, blister promos are always rough sometimes. Uh, sometimes you, just, you sometimes you miss something, sometimes you don't see the corners. So let's see what we got here. We got a nine. Eh, it's not terrible. For again, for a promo, it's not, I wish for the 10, but you know. All right, so Fusion World Secret Rare. This is one of the very few that I did grade from Fusion World. I think I only graded two. Sun Goku Secret Rare. I think we have an alternate art coming up as well. Um, these usually do really well. I'm pretty sure this is, and I can see the G already, so it's a gem mint 10. So this goes pretty well. It's not a high value card, but again, this is a PC card, Universe 7. I love the artwork and the pattern. I didn't get any of like the alternate art secret rares, but you know, pretty good. Eevee, Battle Styles, three pack blister promo. Again, these, these can be hit or miss on these. I see one ding right there, but let's flip it over. Uh, I got an eight. Why did I get an eight though? I don't know why I got an eight because it only has that one little ding there. That is a little disappointing, to be honest. So I don't know, that's odd. All right, um, I did send in a bunch of promos because um, I think the Eevee collections does really well sometimes. So this is a Battle Styles Eevee promo, the one we just looked at. This is a Chilling Rain three pack blister from 2021. Uh, I'm hoping it's not an eight, maybe a nine. Okay, a nine, we got a nine. Battle Styles, I'm sorry, Chilling Rain, nine. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, six Swirl, I love the Swirl there. That is actually really good. Um, yeah, all right, so we had a Battle Styles, a Chilling Rain. Oh, these are nines, right, that's a nine. That'll go in the nine pile. We have just way too many nines right now. Eevee, the same Eevee from Battle Styles. Can we get something better? Again, sometimes these, yeah. I mean, can we get at least a nine? No, we can't. Let's keep rolling. All right, Evolving Skies, please, can we get at least one promo and a 10, please? Can we at least get one promo and a 10? Oh, no dinks. Oh, very nice. Okay, so, okay, maybe this might be a 10. Hey, there we go. We have one out of four EVs became a 10. That's dope. All right. Uh, Bell Crunel 
Um, all right, uh, Argonaut Bell. Yes, there you go. Weiss Wars. Usually these are pretty clean. I can already see the G because I screwed that up, but it's okay. Jam Bin 10 on that. Low pop should be for the tens on these. I, last time I checked before I graded this was like a pop 30 or something like that. So very cool signature card. I'm going to keep that again for PC. Um, Reshi Ram and Charizard. Okay, straight promo. Pretty clean. I could see minimal on there. Should be at least a nine. I'm hoping for a nine or a 10. A 10, because obviously that's the worst the most. And I don't know why we got a seven. Why did I get a seven? Why did that get a seven? I mean, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to correct this. All right, maybe we'll do a video on cracking a slab and regrading. We might do that. Eevee and Snorlax, very cool. Uh, we did open a tin. When we opened this, this looked pretty minty. Maybe a slight ding there, but it did look pretty minty. All right, let's see. Uh, promo tech teams. Whoa, okay. I don't know what the what pissed off the grader, but that's that's rough. Somebody must have pissed off the grader. I am going to have to regrade these. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna crack the slabs. Those are too very rough. Like, how did we get? I don't know. Did the same grader grade all of these? Vaporeon V Max, very cool. On these. This was a clean copy. Although the corners were like, you could see here, it's like more of a square versus the others. Um, all right, let's see. Nine. Oh, this would have been a great, it would have been 250 and a 10. That would have been great. But I think it, it goes down to like 50 or 60 bucks or something. All right, what do we got here? All right, last. Oh yeah, alternate art and we still have another box. All right, alternate art, Sun Gohan. Love this card. I mean, it just pops. I think the Fusion World alternate. Uh, oh, well, I got it. Sorry, I saw the 10 already. Um, yeah, so uh, I think that popped. I thought that was a great card to grade. Again, I think that certain cards, most of these will be PC. There are going to be, obviously, some of them that will be non PC. All right, this one should just have a couple more, right? Yeah, there's only. There's not that much more in here. All right. All right, so we have. I should have one more Weiss card. And I don't even know. Or else is, we graded 24 cards, so. Um, all right, so we got three more cards here. Let's see what we got. Sorry. Venusaur Classic Collection. I thought this was clean. Pulled this myself. Yeah, I totally thought that was clean. All right. 10? The grader must not have liked us. This, there must have been like a bad day for the grader. Vaporeon V, the same one from the uh, V Max collection box. Now that I look at it, it's a little off centered. Might be a nine. Yeah, it's probably a nine. This grader did not like me. This grader did not like me today. Okay, the cheapest gold signature card or secret rare from this set. Uh, probably a 10. And a 10. Okay. Um, so surprisingly, most of my non-Pokemon, uh, definitely got the 10s, right? Like, I think all four of the non-Pokemons. And unfortunately, from a Pokemon perspective, because we had four of these, so I think pretty much everything else is Pokemon related. Yeah, so we had 20 Pokemon, um, graded cards, and we only got four 10s. Um... Interesting submission, I am sure. I mean, this this cost about three, four hundred dollars or something like that. So, I am curious to see like, did we make our money back, even with some of the rough grades? And then I'm probably gonna do a quick video on how to crack a slab because I am definitely going to crack this, regrade, crack this, and regrade. Um, I don't know about the nines. I don't know what I'm gonna do with nines. But let me know what your thoughts are on this submission. Thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, and smashing that like button. Spoke Collector NYC, and we'll see you next time.